Mr. Banks, you're next. Thank you, Madam Chair. I want to focus a little bit, too, on flexibility and innovation. Everyone on this committee knows that the skills gap is a daunting challenge. While registered apprenticeships are an important part of closing the gap, the data makes clear that we will need more options if employers are going to fill the millions of jobs currently available. For example, in my home state of Indiana, there are 100,000 plus unfilled jobs. At the same time, in 2018, there were 17,000 Hoosiers enrolled in federally registered apprenticeships and 3,000 graduates. That's simply not enough. The same is true at the federal level. The latest data shows that 7.6 million unfilled jobs compared to 585,000 active apprenticeships and 72,000 graduates. Given that half of all job openings between now and 2022 will be middle skill, exactly the kind of jobs that apprenticeships can help fill, we clearly will need more options outside of the federally registered programs. Mr. Hayes, in your testimony, you talk about the DCCCD, about what they are already involved with, with, with some of these industry-recognized apprenticeship programs. Given the magnitude of the skills gap and the numbers that I've mentioned, would it be fair to say that more industry-recognized apprenticeships are simply an economic necessity? Well, I believe so, and, and I think to expand this, um, this program, it's, it's going to be critical. But I share some of my colleagues' uh, concerns here about the, uh, the rigor of those programs, and, and part of what we need to make sure of is that there's clear guidance on those programs from the Department of Labor, and that rigor is, is maintained. And a lot of that, employers, though, are going to say that we're going to maintain the rigor simply because they're going to be our workers, and we don't want workers who aren't skilled doing critical jobs. Um, so I, I think you'll see a lot of that correct itself. I don't know if, if there, the IRAPs are going to replace the, the entire world of apprenticeships. I, I certainly don't think so. I think there's a place for both programs, for both registered and, and IRAP programs. Appreciate that very much. That's, that's all I got. I yield back.